Hey, what's going on people? So today's one of those days where I'm just popping out a whole bunch of videos to catch up. And what I have on the table in front of me is a Core Essentials gun belt. Okay, let me show you a little bit about this here. And it looks like a snake going across the camera. All right, let's bring this back. Here's the buckle on it. Um, nice looking buckle. I probably had this belt for I'm going to say uh, at least six months. Uh, my son bought it for me for my birthday. And great belt. And I love it. Um, here's the underside of it. Let me get to here. And this has what is called a ratchet system. So when you put the belt through the buckle, you can hear it clicking. Which I think is a fantastic idea. You know, whoever thought of that was a genius. Okay. Um, now to loosen it, so I'm doing this upside down. You just hit this little lever on the bottom, and you can pull the belt out. So this is great for a couple reasons. Okay. First of all, you know, um, if you have a big dinner or something, you gotta let, you know loosen the belt a little bit. You can actually just hit the bottom and let it out like one notch or two notches, you know, however, depends on how much you eat, you know. Um, great design, I love the ratcheting system. Their buckle is fantastic with it. All right, um, now, the only thing I wish they could have done was make it a little thicker. And what I mean is, it's very thin. Okay, now they have it lined, um, I'm guessing that, I don't think this is real leather, I think it's like a pleather. Uh, but sandwiched in between is like a hard plastic or maybe even like a thin metal that they sandwich in between the two sides of it to give it a firmness. It is very hard to squeeze down, you know, so it is a very hard belt. Um, I just wish it was just a little thicker, right? I think it would give you better support for your gun, but it works pretty good. Uh, but if you put a heavier gun on it, you know, you feel it pulling down a little bit. So I think a little thicker one would uh, work out a lot better. You know, I don't know if they could do it with the ratchet system. I think if they did, it would be definitely be a home run, you know, to make a thicker leather. Um, you know, if they can line it with that plastic, whatever they do on the inside of it, be even better. You know, the uh, the thicker leather, you know, sandwiched in between, you know, uh, the line plastic or metal, whatever they're using, and keep that ratcheting system, all right? Because I think that is the best idea out there. You know, um, the problem with, belts uh, like I just did a video on the $30 gun belt so far it looks like a good belt um, is they have the holes so if you want to go one more notch you know you got to pull back and go to the next hole all right and sometimes it's a little bit too much you know where it's like cutting off your circulation or you know the hole before it is a little bit too loose where your pants are starting to slide down on you you know so that's where this ratcheting belt thing uh, works out fantastic so I think if they could do something like that, if somebody comes up with that idea, you know, with the ratcheting system on a thicker belt, and I don't mean this way thicker, I mean that way a little bit thicker, you know, like another eighth of an inch thicker with a ratchet, I think it'd be a great idea. Now it's not cheap. I think my son paid like 60 bucks for this. Um, this come in a fancy little box, you know, with a little bag and everything on it, nice little bag and everything, nice presentation. Um, about 60 bucks. Now the belt is a one size fit all kind of deal. They do have these numbers. I don't know if you can see that on the back. I know you're getting a little glare on there. But when you get the belt, you basically, whatever your waist size is, if you're 36, let's say, like I am, you would find out what a 36 is and then you want to go up a couple more lines past that. So you want to go up to like, let's say the 40 and then cut it. All right? um, and when you put this on, you can see this opens up over here, and you would stick it inside, like so, and that locks it down, that grabs it. So you always want to cut it bigger, because if you cut it too small, you're screwed, all right? You know, so if you cut it bigger, you can always cut off a little more, a little more until you get it to the right size for you. Uh, so definitely cut it bigger. And then what you might want to do is what I did is I took a lighter and actually burnt the edge of the, uh, the belt 
over here. Yeah. I took a lighter and I burnt this just to keep any fraying or anything and just to smooth it out after I cut it. So uh, I don't know if they recommend to do that or not. I did it, but it's a great belt so far. Like I said, I've had it about six months. Um, it's working out okay. You know, the only beef is just a little bit thicker of a belt would have been nicer. But other than that, you know, there's my review on it. Again, I got this as a present. It wasn't given to me by Core Essentials, um, you know, but still I give them a decent review. Um, great idea. I know they're not the only ones that have the ratcheting system out there, but you know, most people will claim that they're the best out of the people that are out there so far. Um, any questions or comments, please leave below, like and subscribe, and you have yourself a great day.